Excuse me. Canary's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intention, intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a bit more. <laughs> at the same time, I would feel bad. I catch a glimpse at the cover of her book. It looks like the same book she lent to me. Would you like to tell me what it is? Ah. Oh no. I think she noticed me looking at her. Oh no. <laughs> she sneaks another glance at me and... Well, this is awkward. It only makes her hide her face deeper in the book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. No matter this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh. That's fine. If I was focused, I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. I'm just rereading a bit of this. Would you like to tell me what the book is called yet? Hmm. <clears throat> I just wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. You're looking forward to our discussion. And I should read it as soon as possible. It's curious how come you have two copies of the same book? Ah. Well, I stopped at the bookstore yesterday. Ah, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Interesting. Something very obvious that she isn't telling me, but I decide to let it go. I'll definitely start reading soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. What's it about? There we go. Now you're asking the questions I want to know. Closes the book and scans it. Portrait of Mac Markov. I almost pronounced it Makarov, like the pistol. It's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front of the cover. Alright. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Dude, try not to spoil stuff, especially stuff that's like vague. Is the worst sometimes. Like, like, I don't know. If I were to try and recommend Undertale, for example, to somebody, I would have to go, it's a really good RPG-like game, and that's all you're allowed to know. Basically, it's about a girl in high school who moves in with her long-lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She discovers that she has time-manipulating powers, and then natural disasters start happening every day. She is targeted by these people who escaped a human experiment prison. Ooh, that's exciting. It's the Life is Strange spin-off I've been waiting for. And while her life is in danger, she desperately needs to choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. And that's kind of exciting. Well, dark too, but do you need drama for a good book? You made it sound like it was going to be a nice... so that... That book sounds interesting. You shut your mouth. Ah ha ha. Very gently giggles all of a sudden. I, t I am a big fan of that. I can definitely enjoy this kind of story, so don't worry. I hope so. I totally forgot she's into those things. So shy and reclusive, but her mind seems to be completely different. But those kind of stories... They challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. On horrible things, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals and they're their own philosophy that they believe in. Then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I am rambling, aren't I? Oh, it's okay. I'm trying to figure out how her hair slides, like, the way it does. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. 
But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I like books, or let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. Please stop me if I start talking too much. That sounds like plenty of people I already talked to. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. It just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Ah. Your hair is really long. Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? You don't have to. Ah, uh -huh, what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Let me just get the book, and it's gonna he's gonna drop it or something. All right, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to hers. Ah, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not used to. <laughs> Was the Dragon Ball Z abridged line like... Social... Duff. Never mind, I don't remember. <laughs> that is company with... Someone. Or reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what she means by reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. Yeah, I don't think- I've, I've played games with someone, I've watched stuff with people. I don't think I've ever actually straight up- well, I've never straight up read a book with somebody. Like, just around me. Unless I was straight up, like, ignoring their presence while I read it. I've read, like, articles and whatnot, but that's- I think that's different. <laughs> it's as if I can feel it. It's not a particularly bad thing, maybe a little distracting, but somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book, she's probably staring at me or staring at us or something. <sighs> My bad. A massive yawn there. I glance over. Looks like she's reading from my book instead. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Sorry. I was just... You apologize a lot. You remind me of Andrew from Majora's Mask. I don't really mean to. <laughs> See, there you go. I mean, ha ha ha. Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's and then hold it between the two of them. I suppose so. Why don't you just put- why don't you just put it on the desk, like, open in the middle? Once we lean in a little, our shoulders are almost touching. Oh man. Shoulder contact. They grow up so fast. Ah, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Oh, a new, a new angle. Nice. Thumb and forefinger. Nice. Ah. I do the same way with my, same with my right arm on the right side of the book. I turn the page and she slides her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It actually is kind of distracting me. Feel the warmth of her face. All right. Are you reading? Eh. To turn the page. Ah, oh, sorry. I got a little distracted for a second. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, oh, that's okay. You're not used to reading, right? <laughs> Slam. I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yeah. Thanks. Here I was thinking this was going to be like a five minute segment of poem reading. And no longer asks me if I'm ready. Instead I just assume that she finishes the page before me so I turn by my own volition. We continued the first chapter in silence. Even so. 
turning the page, each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. <laughs> okay. Letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a bit. Oh boy. Is that right? You think so? And if I were to engage in, like, conversations with the other ones in this activity, would the main characters of those books remind me of them? Well, I guess she's a lot more blunt in a lot of ways. But she also second guesses all of the things that she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head and anything. But it's kind of rev but they're kind of rev uh, why am I saying reminiscent? Why was I I was trying to say representative for some reason. Reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I see. You remain silent for a moment. But that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Oh. Wait. I didn't mean that in a bad way. I didn't know you were so self-conscious about that sort of thing. I guess I meant more that it's kind of cute. Ah. What are you saying all of a sudden? Oh god. I. And f t t saved by the club president, I guess. I think it's about time we shared a day. God, took long enough, jeez. We may not have had enough time if we wait too long. Oh, we might not have enough time if we wait too long. You were off doing whatever. Yuri exhales, spared from finishing her thought. Is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry, if you haven't been looking forward to this? Ah, it's not. It's fine. She raises her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Alright. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or you would prefer if I only read it with you. Um. I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after the pace picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. Alright. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book and then slip it back into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write the poem last night? I did. Although I don't, I just picked, I just picked, uh, is that what modern poetry really is now though? Is it just throw some words together? My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't find, in, really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? There's only five members of this club. It, it, it's a lot less awkward to stand up and read in front of four people than it is a whole class. I enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf. Torn from Spiral Notebook. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. I got a head marker of hers in a composition notebook. All professional like and stuff. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Oh, I was already sharing with Yuri, so let's change pace, I suppose. I should start with Monica. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem, and I want her to know I'm putting effort. Hi. Having a good time so far? Yep. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions to the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway. Want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ah, there is the ice skating pose again. Don't worry. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? 
was the sort of barrier that we shall have to learn to get past soon. That is true. I had Monica in my poem. Hmm. Great job. I was going, ooh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I don't even know what the words, like, came together to make, though. I'm not sure why, but I didn't... What? What did I... I... I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to live, keep everyone's expectations low. That way I always counts when I put in some effort. Ah, oh, that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. I know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing is full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayori, who likes simple, direct words to describe, like, happiness and sadness. Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. Yeah. Both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel. Or letting them deeply analyze all of the nuances. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I don't know, practice from like middle school to high school probably isn't that much. I not really worth I never really asked though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. Do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. Could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to kind of or find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased towards their own kind of styles. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most, so don't force you to write the way everyone else wants you to. <laughs> it's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ah ha ha. Ah ha ha. Do you want to read my poem? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims not to be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. A hole in the wall. Okay. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. I meant to scroll back up. I didn't even get to read that. Can I load? Man! Man! Man, that is not cool. Mystery? Aw, oh, that sucks. Okay, I'll be more careful about that in the future. It's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ah ha ha, it's okay. That yeah, kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. A lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What's the inspiration behind this one? Ah. Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that it's some kind of epiphany I had recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's coming on because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes, if you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fi fixated on a specific point. If you try hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. True enough. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about this is, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, I gotta be more careful with how this demand. Yeah, it's gonna make me show this to every one of them, isn't it? I've been going for like an hour. I'll just keep going. Once I finish this, I'll finish it. Hello. As Yuri, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. <laughs> Excellent. I just think of the Mortal Kombat announcer from, like, Deadly Alliance during, like, the, uh, 
what was it called? Conquest mode? You're doing all this stuff. Excellent. Did I say that out loud? She covers her mouth but ends up covering her whole face. All you did was say that my writing was good. Why would I... Thank you? Why would I... You really didn't do anything wrong. You gave me a compliment. I do believe. Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. No, I just chose words that spoke to me, okay? Wow, that's a huge compliment. That actually, this is actually my first time, really. Huh. Stares at me blankly and then looks at my poem again. Oh man, that probably, like, ruined her. Well, I know that. I just mean, um... Trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her fingers along the words, breaking down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. Because there are specific habits that usually are typical of new writers, and having been through that myself, I learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. And result is both the style and that the expressiveness are weakened. 